Hey everyone and welcome to my kind of closet tour. Let's get into my closet. I've been getting a lot of requests about the purses that I have. So we're gonna start with that because honestly, I think one of the favorite aspects of my closet. So I'll just go through the, my favorites and the ones I get a lot of questions on. So first off, we have this shopping tote. So this is actually from Uniqlo. I stole it from my mom. It's just like, if you want to buy a re reusable bag there, you can get it there. And I tie-dyed it green. This is just with that RIT dye you can get on Amazon. I can link it down below for you guys. And it was super easy to DIY, so I did that. And then in here, I want to show you guys, I have this little like baby angel <laughs> kind of makeup case. And I just think it's so cute. It's thrifted. A lot of the pieces in my closet are thrifted or if they are from more mainstream brands, it, they're probably a little bit older, so I'm sorry if that bugs you guys, but I will try to link as much as I can below. Uh, the next little purse I always get questions about is this kind of dupe Burberry one. This I got for a dollar from Goodwill. This one is from Aritzia. I think they still sell it in pink. It's just like Prada dupe. Nylon black shoulder bag. This one I just thrifted. I need to figure out how to clean it though. It's just a little pink coach purse. Uh, my Fendi baguette I got from The Real Real. I love this one. It's in the bigger size though. So this is the Mama. Mama Zuka. Fendi baguette. I think that's what it's called. I think Zuka or Zucka is this print. So if you like the like F's like that, the Fendi logo, that's this one. I love the size of it though. It carries so much. And I got it for a really good deal because it's a little beat up in the back. But I could not afford anything else. <laughs> so I got that one. Um, then we have this one from Depop, it's a Harley Davidson like long structured bag. I love this so much. And then some more shopper totes. So those are my bags. That's why I didn't want to do a full video just on my bags because I don't have much to say. I figured I would also include sunglasses. These aren't all my sunglasses, but these are the ones that I end up wearing the most. My all time favorite are actually from my dad. I think they're around 20 years old. They're from a Japanese brand called Matsuda. Um, I can link the brand below, but they don't have this style anymore. It says 5022 145. If that means anything to you guys, they are the most perfect sunglasses though. I'm so obsessed with them, especially for how small they are. Norm I have like a big head, so normally these wouldn't fit right, but my dad has a big head too. And these are just amazing quality. The nose rim, I got this super cool print on it. It's just the detail and everything. These are my all time favorite sunglasses that I stole from my dad. <laughs> he can't wear them anymore though because he has um, these glasses. He used to wear contacts and not anymore. Okay, then this pair of Gucci vintage sunglasses are also super cool to me. They're tortoise shell and I just love how they look so much. And I like all plastic because you can push your hair back and they don't get caught in your hair. Um, I think that these are great for like the beach when you're constantly taking on and off your sunglasses. These I got off Depop from a girl who got them off the real real, so they were super affordable. Uh, these GG24090 02Y, if that means anything to you guys. I think if you search that, they'll come up. I know they still sell this like frame, they just don't sell them in the tortoise shell off of Gucci or like glasses sunglasses, sunglass hut, those kind of sites. They sell them in like neon orange and black and super fun colors. I love them all, but can't justify getting another pair, especially because I had such a great deal on these. These are the Ray-Ban hexagon ones that everybody has. These are my other pair of sunglasses. They're just the classic Ray-Ban wafers, all black. Nothing more to say about them. They're great. Love the all plastic. So yeah, those are my sunglasses, they're my favorites. Something else I want to talk about in accessories are phone cases. You guys know that I love my Caseify phone case. I think these two are so cute and I've been constantly transitioning between the two. So I want to say thank you so much for Caseify for sponsoring this video. 
So if you go to caseify.com slash Lainey, you guys can get 20% off your Caseify case and match me. I love that there's so many ways to personalize your phone case with all of these. I'm sure you guys already know, but Caseify phone cases are military grade. So let's do a drop test. We've got my phone, just fingerprints, but no, no cracks. Is this a, please ignore Ernie's dog bones. And we're gonna drop. Ready? Ready, Ernie? Are you ready? And we're good. It feels so wrong to drop my phone like that because you're not supposed to drop your phone like that. But honestly, these case by cases are amazing. I drop my phone all the time on walks with Ernie. Um, the hard concrete and my phone is perfectly fine so make sure to go to caseify.com slash laney and get 20% off your phone case okay so on to my actual closet this first half has basically all my shoes the first pair that I never really got to wear because right when I got them quarantine hit and that was like at the very beginning when it was still cold and like you weren't even going on walks or to the grocery store or anything super locked down. These boots are waiting for their moment. I got them from the thrift store for $10 and they're the most perfect knee-high leather boots. I'm so obsessed with these. They're from, they're like brand new. Markin, M-A-R-K-O-N. Another pair of boots, the ones I just did my videos on. These black Princess Polly cowboy boots. They're from the brand Rock, R-O-C but I got them off Princess Polly. Love these, great for the summertime. Another pair of shoes I thrifted are these little loafers and they're from Sperry Topsiders, which makes me cringe. But I love, I think these are so cute. For the fall, I think these are the pair of boyfriend jeans or baggy jeans and like a crew neck is just amazing. These shoes, iconic. Either love or you hate these shoes, I love them. The Converse, Runstar Hikes, Constantly sold out get on that text message wait list. That's what I did, but I still couldn't wait So I got them off StockX. Then I guess I'll talk about these. These are the <laughs> Adidas rivalries and I don't know if it's these sneakers because it's happening again or if I am the Incredible Hulk but I ripped my laces in half on the originals and I couldn't wear them and Jackson had just a pair of laces in his room but these are for Jordans like high top Jordans and they are so unbelievably long but I've been like wrapping them a few times around my ankle like the true ballerina that I am and I think it's so cute I love them so much more now because they just look different these ones I've talked about my new babies Nike gouache type, I think that's what they're called. Love them. You guys know I got the New Balance 990s. These have been my new go-to sneaker. Even though I've had them for a while, I just re-fell in love with them. These are another pair of shoes. You either love them or you hate them. I saw so many Swedish girls on my Instagram floor page wearing these and I love how they wear like super fun color sneakers with like dresses and skirts and jeans and just anything so i fell in love and got myself then let's go down <laughs> so down here i put some more of my shoes they're not really none of my shoes are stored in the like best way ever but it'll do i still have some shoes at home that i'm gonna bring up next time just more boots that i knew i wasn't gonna wear during the summer we've got these knockoff Bottega Veneta's from Pretty Little Thing, but I love them so much. I don't think I haven't worn them because there's nowhere to go. Uh, nasty gal, little pointed toe shoes. These ones are my babies. Oh my god, I love these. So comfortable. They're little lace up between the toe kitten heels they're from zara i'm so obsessed with zara now the website is trash but I'll, i still managed to find some really cute things on there these look disgusting but i wore them to my friend's wedding and that sounds so weird i sound old sorry melinda you make me old i wore these to my friend's wedding and i was dancing the whole night we were volleying and paitushkaing paitushka if anyone's albanian come for me please um <laughs> and they were so comfortable. I can only find one of these. Like how, how do have I lost something already? 
These ones I have worn to the bar so many times. I need to fully shower after this video for touching these shoes. These were my go-to bar shoes in in college. Oh my god, I love sounding old. These are from Zara, but I got them off Depop and so comfortable. This pair I got off ASOS. I love squared toe boots, just like those uh, thrifted ones. I think that these are just so freaking pretty. I also wore these to the bar all the time. Jaden Zach Martins. I have a lookbook on those from a while ago. This is like for maybe somebody who is a little bit more put together and doesn't want to do cowboy boots. These western style boots are super cute. These are from ASOS also. I got them a while ago though. Super comfortable. Loved wearing these to the bar as well. Coming up here, you guys, I thought of this video because Devin Lee Carlson did it. It just further proves I will never be Devin Lee Carlson. This little green top, um, I wore it in my apartment tour. It's from Zara. They still have it on the website. Love that so much. This bustier I got from a thrift store by my house. Beautiful velvet floral pattern. And so it's like a bra bustier. This was like one of my best finds ever. This top I always get so many questions on. It's from Brandy, but I got it off Depop last summer. They sell this kind of top everywhere now, though, so that's not too hard to find. This top, I posted a TikTok, and everybody really liked it, so that was kind of cool. <laughs> it's from Revolve. It's from the brand Majorelle, though. I got it super on sale. Whenever I go on Revolve, I just go on sale and then do price low to high. This shirt is, like, originally $200 or something stupid. And I think I got it for $20 or $15. Because I would never, ever, ever pay that much for this shirt. But then you say $20, $15. I was like, give me three. Um, I love it. But I'm pretty sure it's gone now. Anything else I want to share? This top I always get so many questions on. But YouTube knows. I've been getting more questions on, um, <laughs> on TikTok now. Because I wore it in a TikTok. It's from Nasty Gal. I love it so much. Looks so expensive because I changed the original chain for a necklace I had because I like gold, not silver. And a more dainty necklace just makes it look so, so rich. Okay, making our way over here. The lighting's a little funky right now because we get afternoon light and the sun's setting. Up here, you really can't see. Way up here, I've got a ton of clothes that I'll be listing on Depop soon. My sewing machine. And let's go through my tops. Okay, okay. I have so many white t-shirts. Let's see, what am I loving? Okay, this top. I love, love, love this top. It's from IMGia. It's a little lacy down the front with the bustier and boning. And then it just zips in the back. Stunning. This was my 21st birthday top. This is new. It's new to me. It's not really new. I saw this when it came out on Zara, but I just didn't want to pay i don't remember how much it was probably around 60 bucks i just got it for 30 on depop it was brand new with tags i think it's just so pretty it's a midi dress and it's got all this really fun different like color block paneling i'm just turning into a dress girl for the summer all i ever do is put on dresses because they're so much easier and i feel like i feel way more confident in a dress and sneakers walking ernie than i do when i'm wearing like jean shorts or like even biker shorts i just always feel like uncomfortable or my belly showing i'd much rather just wear a dress uh so i'll go through my dresses that i've been wearing this one is completely unbuttoned right now <laughs> but it buttons all the way down and it's got these little poofy sleeves i think this is so cute with the uh, white sneakers it's from reformation but i got it off depop i would never pay that much this is my pride and joy the best i think it was like 80 bucks i've ever spent it's this green silk mini dress. You guys have seen in probably every single one of my videos from Aritzia, the brand Wilfred. I got it in an extra small. It fits me so perfectly. I need to get it in other colors, honestly, because I always reach for this dress. This one's new. Got it from this thrift store. It's a little satin slip dress. Super cute. Super affordable. I love the style of this dress my little red baby doll dress from Urban, but I got it off Depop. This dress I got like four years ago from Urban. Midi dress, and I got it for when I went to Italy three or four years ago, and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to be a mountain girl in my grandparents' village, and I was a mountain girl, but now I brought it to the city, and I'm still a mountain girl. This dress from Urban, 
All my dresses are from Urban. I got it in Italy two summers ago, and it's just a black midi dress. It's got a slit down the back. This lighting is really bad, but there's really not much to it. It's just ribbed material. This is literally my go-to dress for walking Ernie. This and those bright sneakers. Love, love, love. This was a birthday present from my brother. How sweet. We went shopping together and I picked this out and he bought it for me. It's this little uh, jumpsuit. It's from a boutique in Wicker Park, but it's from the brand Lelis. L-E-L-I-S. Uh, this fits me like a glove. It is so cute. I never could really find a way place to wear it, so catch me walking Ernie in that. <laughs> then we just got some hoodies. Let's show you guys this one. Brandon's gonna kill me, but he doesn't watch my videos, so I'm gonna show it. <laughs> Brandon used to um, work at a t-shirt like printing place, so he started making his own clothes, and it was called What's Tommy? And this is one of the little quarter zips he made with this super fun graphic on the back. Brandon stopped making them and like threw away all his things. So I hoarded all of them because I knew he'd want them in the future. And of course, he wants them all now. So good thing I'm crazy and went through all his stuff and stole everything. This, you guys, 100% pure silk, little button down. It's from Talbots though. It's a size 18, but I think this is the most glamorous shirt I've ever seen in my whole life. Like if I go out to dinner and like you button like the bottom couple ones and you just like make it super deep and with jeans and a pair of kitten heels and my hair pulled back and a tight low bun with a paw clip. I'm obsessed with this. Take me to a fancy dinner. Wink wink. Ernie. Brandon got me this hoodie for my birthday. He thrifted it. It's Fox Racing. My dad used to always wear Fox Racing when we were little so I just I don't know this like this little logo it's just super sentimental to me, so that was really sweet of him. It's super soft. Okay, then getting over to the jackets. Let's find some fun stuff to talk about. This is from H&M. I wore this so much this year. I think it was such a good spend or find. It's like a super thick, it looks like a grandpa jacket. I feel like my nonno has so many of these, but I think it was only around 30 or 40 bucks, and I picked it up and I never stopped wearing it since. This you guys have seen in like every single one of my Outlook book videos. It's this giant leather blazer. There's no branding on it. I'm so sorry. I know you guys always, oh yes there is. Saddlery made in Korea. It's a 42 tall and I'm obsessed. I wore this every single night we went out in college. This little sweater is my dad's that he let me keep after he saw the um, stealing my dad's clothes video that I did. He was like, if you like it so much, you can keep it. It's from Deus Ex Machina or Machina. I always don't know how to say it, but it's super cool skull. The infamous jacket that I love so much. Literally somebody wanted to buy this off my back for $200 at the bar. And I said, no, I feel crazy. I got this for 30 bucks off eBay. If you want a NASCAR jacket with flames, you have to look up Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon has flames. Mine is in a 2XL, it's giant. Don't go on Depop for these. They're dumb expensive. Go on eBay, $30. Best $30 I've ever spent. This is a new leather jacket I got. It's more of a bomber one. Ava says it looks like Inspector Gadget because she has one and she called herself Inspector Gadget. It's in an extra large. I'm pretty sure it was like 12 bucks from the thrift store. This is another cool one. My dad gets me jackets off Facebook Marketplace. This is Triumph Motorcycles Varsity Jacket. I never played any varsity sports in high school, so I finally get to live out my dream of having a varsity jacket. I'm not joking. It's cool though, I like it. This one, I know we're not really in like winter time, but I'll still show them. This wool long camel jacket. <laughs> it's from Stephanie Andrews, but I got it at a thrift store in Detroit and it was I think 40 bucks. I have a little puffer vest. It's from The Gap but I got it from Goodwill. You guys! It's from Lovers and Friends. I got it super on sale off Revolve. Literally go on Revolve, do 
low to high on the sale. I think this was around 60 bucks, originally 200. Love this jacket, so warm. Okay, and last two jackets that are just too fun to not show you guys. This is a Vanson leather jacket. Um, it's a motorcycle jacket. It is the heaviest thing in the whole world, but it's super cool. It was my dad's. It's in a size 48, and it's literally just the coolest leather jacket ever, and I always get compliments on this. And then another fun jacket is this leather or suede. There's no name on it, but it is just such a freaking cool jacket. It was my mom's. I don't even know when she got it, but she gave it to me, and I love it so much. Oh, thank God my parents had just kidding they have style <laughs> okay then to pants okay so we have all my jeans first can't really see which is annoying but i can't get both in the shot um the first jeans that i'm wearing <laughs> i want to talk about because they're like my absolute favorite right now they are the perfect is this good angle you guys see they are the perfect baggy leg straight cut jeans they're Tommy Hilfiger, but I got them from Goodwill for $3. And they are low-waisted, but I did that TikTok hack. Let me show you guys. So this is what they're supposed to sit like. Like, they're a little big, but they're a lot more low-waisted. And like this, they make my butt look so saggy. <laughs> so you lift them up, unbutton, hook, the button like that and then button them and they become more like that which is a lot more flattering and the butt is saved pro tip <laughs> that's what i do to all my pants now but i love these so much they're so soft because they're so worn in going into my other favorite jeans honestly i don't have that many jeans so they're all my favorites but i won't show all of them this first pair is from a goldie it's the 90s fit super distressed ones uh somebody asked me they were like is this from washing them like getting this giant hole no i got a little too drunk at the bar and did the splits and dropped it too low and i ripped my pants so <laughs> if you're worried about them turning into this they won't another pair of jeans that i always get compliments on Honestly, all of my straight leg or like more loose fitting jeans I get compliments on. These are straight cut, more like wide legged jeans and they're from Zara. They're like this gray wash material and I love them. Okay, these ones I always get questions about. These are the last pair I'll show. So all my other jeans are thrifted and I kind of feel bad showing you guys just thrifted jeans. These ones are the jeans I DIY'd. I can link this video down below. I basically duped the Agoldi overcrossed jeans on a pair of my brother's Levi's and these quickly became one of my favorite jeans. It's a super, super easy way to resize your jeans. And since doing that video, I found buttons online, like jean buttons. So if you don't care about saving the original button, you can just use jean buttons and it's a lot easier to do it that way. <laughs> We have these white jeans, white straight leg baggy jeans you guys have seen so many times. These are from ASOS. I couldn't recommend having a pair of white baggy jeans at more. Make you look so chic, even though you're just wearing a pair of white jeans. Then leather pants. I will never stop wearing leather pants. I got these ones from Thread Up with its brand Hudson Outerwear. They're low-waisted bootcut leather pants. And I am utterly obsessed with them. I got them during quarantine though, so I have, I've worn them out once to dinner. But they are, I think they're real leather, so they're so soft. These are recently thrifted. So she found them for me. She put me on to Little Boy's Dress Pants, you guys. They fit so well. These ones are in a size 16. And they fit so well, high-waisted, and they cut perfectly at my ankle. They are so freaking cute, so seriously get on that. Then this skirt, I've worn so much for getting it from Forever 21. So this skirt is just the dupe for the Realization Par leopard print skirt, but if I don't want to wear it just as a mini skirt, I will add a safety pin, and I don't mind. 
pinning holes in this because it was so inexpensive and I ruched it to make it kind of asymmetrical and I just I love this so much we have a Kelvin Klein mini skirt that I thrifted it was originally like an office kind of length skirt do you know what that means then Bermuda jean shorts these ones are from Pretty Little Thing they're black Bermuda jean shorts amazing Pretty Little Thing uh, for jean shorts. I got these two years ago, I think. But one of the only brands, besides a Goldie, I have a pair of a Goldie denim Bermudas too, that like hug your waist and your thighs can breathe because I like the Bermuda denim to be baggy on the thighs. I don't want it to be like how I wore them in fourth grade when they're like tight all the way down. Also, these little leather shorts from Nasty Gal, I want to wear them out so badly. I didn't think I'd fall in love with them like I did. They are so flattering and so cute and so stylish. I also have this drawer, but it's just like sweatpants and underwear and stuff. Here's my, this looks so janky. This is my DIY, doesn't that look so funny? Orson Iris uh, Bustier top. I have that tutorial on my channel. Bikinis, this one is one of my absolute favorites. It's neon orange and from Paxson. Then we have like purple velvet. This one's from Triangle. Sometimes I'm like, what am I, what's my business having a purple velvet bikini? But I'm obsessed with it, so I don't really have anything else to say about the other ones in there so thank you so much for watching this video um i like going through my clothes like that and filming lookbooks because it kind of reminds me what i have and different ways to style things i don't have any of my hats here i left them all at home and i've been bugging my dad to find his old cowboy hat from wyoming so that will be added to my collection soon <laughs> I'm turning into a cowboy. I want to move to a farm. Make sure to check out casetify.com slash Lainey for 20% off your casetify phone case. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in a few days. Bye.